was the day before holidays and all through the shop, the lawyers were working for clients non-stop. When out of the boardroom there arose such a clatter that two partners ran down to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes did they see? But a sack full of letters to the Ross firm PC. What are you doing? Huh. Preparing for a Law Society spot audit. Spot audit? Yeah. Dan Pennington wrote another one of his famous doomsday articles. This one entitled, 10 Ways to Prepare for a Spot Audit. Really? 10 ways? That seems like a lot of ways. What's the first one? When the auditor comes in, pretend you're totally surprised. Ugh. What's with the hourglass? I'm docketing my time. Enough of that. I've got this entire bag of letters from our clients with their requests for the upcoming year. Any referrals from Diamond and Diamond? No referrals. I did get a couple of text messages, though. <laughs> wow. What do we have here? Here's one from the Ontario Bar Association. Hmm. What are they asking for? They want something for the holidays. Something that will engage the members but take their minds off the Trumps, Brexits and, well, Leafs of the world. What about a show? We could get the Mervishes to produce it. Music, songs, action. A contemporary fantasy. Yeah, fantasy. I love it. We could call it Access to justice. And I'll bet the Law Society would give us CPD points. Huh. Here's one from Fola. Fola? What's Fola? Well, Fola's Cadelpa spelled backwards. I think what they need is a new name. Something that better describes who and what they are. Hmm. Any ideas? How about I-L-O-O-T? I-Loot? What's that stand for? Ignored lawyers outside of Toronto. Excellent. Trinity Western University. What do they want? Looks like they're asking for some help with their arguments before the Supreme Court of Canada. What in God's name would they be asking for? Freedom of religion mixed with a little right to discriminate. Makes sense to me. Oh, wow. Here's one from the Attorney General himself, Yasser Nakfi. What's he asking for? He sent us a prototype, an exciting new device that will be the cornerstone of the court's modernization program, and he wants our feedback. What's in there? What is that? It's the eye can. What do you think? Well, isn't that cord supposed to be attached to something at the other end? Oh no, it's wireless. Uh-oh. This one's marked personal and confidential, and it's from the Law Society. Oh, no, not another one. No, it's okay. They want to retain us. W what are they asking for? It seems they have several issues. There's the Groya case that won't go away. They've got the future of articling, as well as ABS and entity regulation. Lastly, but certainly not least, it appears that the Toronto Star is doing more about shady lawyers than they are. What advice are you going to give them? Oh, I'm not giving them any advice. I'm referring that bad boy out to Dan Pennington at Law Pro. He'll come up with a list of 10 things to avoid the loss of self-regulation. It will scare the hell out of them. <laughs> and don't forget to ask Dan for a referral fee. Count on it. Well, Quinn, tis the season. What advice have you got for the profession? You mean like pro bono? Oh, all right. The members of the Ross firm would love to wish this great profession a safe and happy holiday season and a joyous and prosperous new year. <laughs>